Oh shit, the same thing. <laughs> okay, just a Oh, double three, dog screw. Three. I either got rotten egg or something else. Three, oh, that's just two, one. one, go. <laughs> The tragic final video of Chester Bennington, Lincoln Park's iconic lead singer, is a haunting reminder of how mental illness can be hidden behind smiles and laughter. Filmed by his wife, Talinda Bennington, just 36 hours before his death, the video shows Chester engaging in a light-hearted moment with his family. In the footage, he is seen laughing, playing with his kids, and sharing what seems to be a joyful, ordinary family moment. An image that starkly contrasts with the heart-wrenching reality of what would happen shortly afterward. This video, which Talinda shared months after his passing, was intended to shed light on the deceptive nature of depression and mental illness. Chester had long battled with depression, trauma, and addiction, often using music as an outlet for his pain. His struggle was no secret. His lyrics were full of anguish, self-reflection, and the weight of his inner demons. But his exterior, in this video, portrays a man who seems at peace, surrounded by love and warmth. The dissonance between his visible demeanor and the darkness he carried inside is deeply saddening. Talinda's decision to release the video was both a tribute to her late husband and a call to action for mental health awareness. She wanted the world to understand that even in the face of what seems like happiness and normalcy, Individuals struggling with depression may still be in immense emotional pain. The video highlighted that mental illness is not always obvious. It can be masked by moments of laughter, by smiles, or by an appearance of contentment. Chester's death underscored that mental health struggles often run much deeper than what can be observed from the outside. Chester Bennington's life was one of immense creativity and profound impact. As the lead singer of Linkin Park, he helped shape a generation of music fans offering solace to millions through his powerful voice and raw lyrics. Songs like Numb, Crawling, and In the End resonated with people who also felt trapped by their own emotions. His ability to translate personal pain into universal messages made him a symbol for those fighting similar battles. For many, he was a voice for the voiceless someone who articulated feelings of isolation, fear, and hopelessness that others couldn't find words for. Despite his success, Chester was open about his struggles. He had a history of childhood abuse, battles with addiction, and bouts of severe depression that lasted throughout his life. In interviews, he often spoke candidly about his mental health, but like many, he was still able to hide the depths of his pain from those closest to him at times. In the days leading up to his death, he had spent time with friends and family, showing no clear signs that he was in immediate danger. The video filmed by Talinda reflects this. It shows him as a loving father, someone who seemed engaged and present in the moment. On July 20, 2017, Chester Bennington took his own life at the age of 41. His death sent shockwaves through the music world and beyond. Fans, friends, and family were left devastated by the loss of such a talented and beloved figure. His death occurred on what would have been the 53rd birthday of his close friend, Chris Cornell, who had also died by suicide just two months earlier. Chester had performed Hallelujah at Cornell's funeral, a moment that now holds even more weight in retrospect. Linda's choice to share Chester's last moments with the world was incredibly brave. In the aftermath of his death, she became an advocate for mental health awareness, dedicating herself to breaking the stigma surrounding depression and suicide. Her message was clear. People suffering from mental illness often don't show obvious signs of their struggle. The tragic irony of Chester's final video, that someone can appear so happy yet be so close to such a heartbreaking decision, was meant to serve as a reminder that we must take mental health seriously. The legacy Chester left behind is both profound and painful. On the one hand, he gave the world a body of work that spoke to the deepest parts of human emotion, music that helped millions navigate their own pain. On the other hand, his death highlighted the urgent need for better mental health support, understanding, and resources. 
His passing continues to raise awareness about the silent suffering of those battling mental illness. In sharing Chester's final moments, Talinda wanted to convey a crucial message. Depression doesn't always look the way we expect. It isn't always visible. And those who suffer don't always seem broken. Sometimes they appear to be just fine. The fact that Chester could laugh, play, and interact with his family so shortly before his death is a stark reminder of how hidden and insidious depression can be. Chester's death serves as a powerful reminder to check in with loved ones, even if they seem okay. It's a call to offer support, to reach out and to recognize that mental health, mental, 